Tusonge mbele ambapo bunge linapendekeza marekebisho makubwa katika tume huru ya uchaguzi kupitia mswada unaolenga kushahidi au kushadidi mamlaka ya mwenyekiti wa tume ya IBC na kupanua wanachama wa jopo la uteuzi wa makamishi na watume hiyo kutoka wanachama saba hadi tisa jinsi ilivyopendekezwa kamati ya ilivyopendekeza kamati ya maridhiano ya kitaifa kamati ya pamoja ya bunge kuhusu masuala ya sheria na haki itachunguza upya vipengele vinane vinavyopendekezwa kwenye ripoti ya kamati ya maridhiano kamati hiyo ya bunge iliongozwa na mbunge wa tharaka George Murugara imesema pindi ripoti hiyo itakapowasilishwa baada ya siku 45 bunge litaamua mustakabali wa kushughulikia mapendekezo hayo kutokana na ujumbe wa spika wa bunge la kitaifa Moses Wetangula kamati ya pamoja ya bunge kuhusu masuala ya sheria na haki iliandaa kikao chake leo kujadili ripoti ya kamati ya maridhiano ya kitaifa and we were directed to hold joint sittings so that we are able to expedite on the matters that were set out in that report the resolutions we were given 45 days within which to submit the report Kikao hicho cha maseneta na wabunge kiliwadia huku kukiwa na mapendekezo kadhaa yanayonuia kubadili muundo wa tume huru ya uchaguzi na mipaka nchini IBC kupitia mswada wa marekebisho ili kushadidi mamlaka ya mwenyekiti wa IBC na kupanua uwanachama wa jopo la uteuzi wa makamishi na kutoka wanachama saba hadi tisa. Uh, there are number of statutes eight of them actually as we speak have been uh, referred to this committee for to be uh, published by the national assembly for to be published by the senate and the constitutional amendment one to be uh, published by this committee Pindi tu itakapo kamilisha ripoti yake katika muda wa siku 45 kamati hiyo ya pamoja ya bunge itawasilisha mapendekezo yake ya kutoa mustakabali wa kushughulikia mapendekezo hayo but we confirm the two options are available the parliamentary process and the referendum Wakati huo huo Wizara ya Elimu imesema jumla ya wanafunzi 509 wa kike katika shule za upili kaunti ya Bungoma walipata ujauzito mwaka 2022 Wizara ya elimu ambayo ilikuwa ikijibu swala la seneta wa Bungoma David Wakoli ilisema wanafunzi 323 walipata ujauzito mwaka uliopita. 